Today we'll look how to create an end credit sequence in DaVinci Resolve. And best of all, it doesn't use Fusion. I'll be using the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20, but this should work in any version from the last few years. I've created a new project in DaVinci Resolve and I'm here on the edit page. The key to this technique is to use a title effect called scroll. So let's open my effects here. I'll click effects. And then if you select titles, you'll see an option here that says scroll. I'll click and drag it onto my timeline. So let's put it there. Now if I play the video, you can see it scrolls a line of text upwards. I can add more text. I'll select the scroll here. I'll expand the inspector tab. I'll type line one and I'll say line two. And you can see if I play it now, we have both lines. Best of all, the speed is controlled by how long we make the clip. So if I shorten the length of the clip here, it'll scroll really fast. So I'll play it and it finishes really quickly. If I make it really long, it scrolls more slowly. Now what we can do is create a scroll element for each column of text we want. So let me make this shorter. Let's rename this bottom channel. I'll call it job title. And over here, let's say director, and then let's say producer for line two. Now let's copy this to the track above it. I'm gonna hold alt and I'll click and drag. And now we have this new track. Let's call it person name. And then with this top layer selected, I'll just type the names here. Let's type John Smith and Dave Jones. So we have the job title and the name here, but clearly they're overlapping. Let's fix that. With the name option, once again, I'll go to the inspector tab. And what I'll do is I'll scroll down a bit. Let me click this arrow here to make it take up the full screen. And the key to positioning it where we want are these alignment and anchor options here. So the vertical anchor here represents the center of the screen, but then the alignment shows how we can further justify the paragraph. So for the names, I want them to be right of center. So I'll click this and they appear right there. And the default option of left alignment is pretty good. If I wanted to make it center on the right side, I could press this. You can see what the other options do. So I don't like those. Let's do this left alignment. So we're left aligning on the right side of the center there. Let's choose the job titles. So for job titles, we want to be on the left side of center and we want it to be aligned on the right side. So I'll click this and there we go. And it's starting to look better. Let me make the job titles yellow just so we can see a difference here. We can also go to the settings tab here and with transform, we can offset it a little bit. So let's move a little bit to the left maybe right there. And now if we play through it, the two columns are perfectly aligned. Now, what if we wanna have some text in the center to give a name to each section of our credits? Well, we can do that on another track. I'll go to my effects. Let's drag another scroll option here. I'll resize it so it's the same length. I'll call it section name. Now to get the format nicely, what we need to do is make sure each of our scroll elements has the same number of lines and blank lines count too. So let's go to the section here. I'll go to the title, I'll call it crew. Let's just make it red just so we know what we're looking at here. I'll press okay. Now I wanna have two lines under it because of these other two rows. So I'll press enter, enter. So there's three lines here. Now let's make the other scroll elements also have three lines. So I'll go to my person name here. Now we wanna have an empty line at first, so I'll hit enter. So this is where our crew text would be, but it's gonna be blank. And then under it, we have our two names. Let's do the same thing for job title. I'll hit enter and now we have them on their own lines. And of course, what we need to do is center this section name text. So let's click that. The anchor is centered, but I need to make the alignment centered also. So let's click this and there we have it. So each of these scroll elements have three lines, but they need blank spaces to account for the other elements. So let's play it and it still looks nice and formatted. For your sanity, I think the easiest way to maintain your credits is initially in a spreadsheet. So I have this spreadsheet here and I have three different columns one for the section names. I have this column for the job titles or the role names. And then on the right, we have the person's name, whether it's an actor or a part of the crew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all these section names right down to the bottom here. I wanna get these empty lines also. I'll press control C. Now let's go back to DaVinci Resolve. For my section name one, I'll select all of this and I'll press control V. And it looks kind of strange, but if you click off and click back on, it seems to work. So let's copy the other one. I'll copy job title, control C job title, delete everything, control V. And let's get the person's name. Again, note that we have blank spaces here where the section name is. So I'll copy this, select all this, delete it, paste it in. And for longer credits, you wanna make the duration go longer. So if I play through, there we have our credits rolling. So I recommend creating a master spreadsheet and just easily editing that. 
Then when you have all the details in there, just copy and paste it into DaVinci Resolve. Now there's a few more things we can do to format our text. You can see it's going off the screen here, so probably size is something we should look at. We can also use different fonts. I like this free font from Google, Oswald. I use it a lot in my YouTube thumbnails, and it looks pretty good with text. If you don't know how to install fonts on DaVinci Resolve, check out my video on that topic. I'll leave a link in the description below. So I'm back in DaVinci here. Let's change the section name. I'll choose the font to Oswald. I'll select this. Now you can see it's starting to get out of sync here. But if we change all the fonts to the same thing, it should work. So I'll go to person name, change this to Oswald, change it like so. And let's go to job title, change it to Oswald. And it still lines up. Now probably we should change the size too. I'll make sure they're all the same. Let's make it 50. Person name, also make the size 50. And job title, will also make the size 50. So because they're all the same font, they line up well. If there's other font faces, they'll usually line up well too. So let's change the person's name. Instead of regular, let's do bold. Even for section name, we could do something like extra light. And it'll still line up. But if I choose a totally different font, let's go to job title. Let's use something like, I don't know, Onyx. It's not actually going to work. So in general, you want to stick within the same font family. So let's undo that. And here we have our final result. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, check out my crash course video right here on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.